Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss key performance indicators known as KPIs. Well, maybe you heard of this saying, maybe not. What gets measured gets done and measure what matters. And this is basically what KPIs is all about if I want to summarize this lesson. So it's a measurable value. We're measuring something that's going to help the organization track progress towards specific goals or objective. So those KPIs, they're gonna help us basically think of it as a measuring tool, helping us determine where do we stand toward a specific goal or a specific objectives. And we can use those KPIs to evaluate the success of the whole organization. We could use them to evaluate the success of a particular project or a particular team. Now bear in mind, KPIs, they should be measurable, as specific as possible, and achievable. We can achieve them and they should always be aligned with your business goals. And KPIs can be broken into four categories. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. And the four categories are financial KPIs, customer KPIs, process KPIs or internal processes, people or employee KPIs, and sometime in your textbook or in your CPA review course, it might be called organizational growth. Now, if you know anything about Farhat, every time I have a list, I'm going to go over each item on, on this list, explaining what financial KPIs is, customer, process, and people, and give an example. Starting with financial KPIs. Those are very important because financial means money. They provide critical information about the company's financial performance, revenues, cash position, profitability, which are essential for making decision, planning, and mon monitoring progress. What are some specific examples? For example, you could measure revenue growth rate. Measure the increase, hopefully, and not the decrease in an organization revenue over a period of time. This is a, a financial KPI measure. Or we could look at the gross profit margin. Or we could look at earnings before interest and taxes, EBIT. So gross profit measure the profitability of an organization by computing the percentage of revenue that remain after accounting for cost of goods sold. Simply put, sales minus cost of goods sold equal to gross profit. So if we take gross profit divided by sales, we'll get the gross profit margin. And this is an indicator of how well we are selling and managing our cost of goods sold. Another sets of KPIs are customer KPIs. Basically, this is, again, if you want the if you want the money, they come all from customers. So customers is your source of money, a main source of money. It measures how well the organization is delivering value to the customers. Those KPIs will help the organization understand how well they are meeting customer needs because that's important. Customer expectation and preferences. Why? If the customers are not happy, you need to fix that. If you're not meeting their expectation, well, you need to do something about that. If you're meeting the expectation, you want to project future expectation. Now, how can you do that? How can you measure those KPIs? What could be some examples? You could do what's called customer satisfaction score. Measure the degree which customers are satisfied with the product, service, or interaction. Now, how can you measure this? Well, you can survey them. You can ask them. You can interview them. Give them feedback forms. Sometimes on the phone when you call, they ask you to stay. After the call is ended, the reason is they want to measure customer satisfaction, social media monitoring, how, how long are they staying on your website, on your social media website, on your specific page on the website. You can also compute this score based on customer behaviors, whatever, how, in any way you can repeat, any way you can measure this, such as repeat purchases and reviews. If the customer is constantly buying from you, that's a repeat purchase. It means they are happy. Or you can look at the reviews if they left your reviews on Google or some other um, website. Net Promoter Score is another example. Measure the likelihood that a customer would recommend an organization to others. For example, you could just ask them, would you recommend me to others? And by doing so, you will get an idea how, if they are satisfied or not satisfied. Now, bear in mind, 
to make sense of any KPI, you have to benchmark it. What's benchmarking? It means look at your competitors, look at the industry standards. And this way you can identify any shortcoming, any weaknesses, because now you understand how you compare, how you stand against other people in the industry to identify area for improvements. Another KPIs are process KPIs, which measure the organization performance in terms of its processes and procedures. Company have many different, diff, various companies will, every company will have different processes and procedures. But you want to understand how well you are performing those key processes and procedures. So what are key processes and procedures? The things that you do that gets your work done, whatever business you are in, and try to identify areas of improvement. So process KPIs measure how well an organization is performing key processes, and those could be in, many, in a manufacturing industry, service delivery, or project management. Those are your, it means the key essential things that you do for your business. So process key KPIs can be measured, various aspects, very various aspect of the process such as cycle time how fast you are finishing the product cycle time for example if you're in the manufacturing what is the def defect rate of every 10 or 100 unit you're producing how many units are defect they're no good well by doing so you're measuring how well is your process process cost how well you are managing your costs or how well you are utilizing your resources resource utilization so all those can be can be some form of an indicator and you can measure them through various sources you can do data analysis process mapping statistical process control run regression so on and so forth just like with the customer kpi you have to compare yourself to your peers you have to compare yourself to the industry and people or employee kpis or organizational growth as they in some in some courses they call it that's the best because people are the company here you want to make sure the organization performance in terms of its employee you're measuring that performance this helps the organization understand how well they are managing and developing their workforce because your workforce is everything your workforce is the face of the company and you want to identify areas for improvement you want to assess employees performance retention development how do you do that in various ways measure various aspects such as productivity how well they are how productive they are quality through the quality of the product attendance if your work you know require attendance for example hospitals you want to make sure nurses are showing up during their shift adherence to company policies and procedures you want to measure the employee satisfaction engagement and of course their alignment with the organizational culturals and value so this is how you measure the various aspect of employee performance okay and you can measure this you know mechanically what you do is you can ask them you can do a survey uh you can do what's called 360 degree feedback just asking them questions that basically answer everything about what they do they can also be calculated using employee behavior if you can do that for example if the employees are productive if the productivity is up you could assume you could always assume that the employees are happy um the employees are well trained because that's what you are concerned about if you are retaining the employees that's another good indication if the employees are not turning over that's a great indication that your employees are happy you know retention plus productivity is a great signal again attendance if attendance is required again you have to compare your performance to others in the industries to competitors or to other people in the industry to determine how well or not well you are performing on these measures what should you do now go to farhat lectures and look at multiple choice questions that's going to test your knowledge because on the cpa exam or on the cma exam or in your accounting course that's how they test you they want to make sure they're giving you a term you know what it is they're giving you an example you know under which kpi it falls what should you do invest in yourself this is what i suggest you do take your education seriously it's 30, 40 year investment. Good luck and study hard. And of course, stay safe.